Hello, hello, hello! You are tuning into another episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's first topic is it's hard being a Raven fan right now. <laughs> Look, I was sitting back after yesterday's you know news of Mike McDonald officially becoming the Seattle Seahawks head coach, and I'm happy for him. You know what I mean? If you put in hard work in life. Um, you work for things, then, you know, graduating to better levels is to be expected. And I'll never look at another man and say, hey, I'm going to hold you back simply for my, my, you know, say my wants, my needs, my cares. And Raven fans should be feeling the same way. Um, I know. I would have rathered him stay and Harbaugh go. But let's be real. We all knew that that was going to be a possibility. Not in not 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 in Baltimore. <laughs> Yo, Harbaugh is the guy in Baltimore, and they love him, and he's not going nowhere. It looks like no matter what happens, no matter how good the other guy is, you know what I mean. So that's 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 taking that off. But it's not just him. We lost a lot of coaches just this past day. <laughs> And you have to ask just like, man, you know, this was probably like one of the most talented rooms of coaches. I can, in recent memory, I can remember coming out of Baltimore. Um, so being a Raven fan right now, it, it's hard because you're like, man, we're going through an absolute flux. But here's why. No matter what we're going through, no matter how much pain we have, no matter what we wish should have happened, could have happened, there's one good constant that remains. And I know y'all know what I'm going to say, and it's the facts. I'm going to explain why, and that's Lamar Jackson. Look, we still have a two-time MVP at quarterback. There's a reason he was paid 270 280 whatever million dollars. There's a reason. It's because he's the ultimate equalizer. Now, look, I I know that sounds cheesy. I know it sounds even probably dated or annoying to some people that's going to watch this video. But hear me out. Just, just, just listen for a second. This man has already had one of the best offenses in the league. Think about it. We had one of the best offenses with all our mishaps, with all of the drops, with all of the miss. Uh, tackle time from Ronnie and um and Moses and, and guards missing time and all this stuff and, and running backs being out. We had the fourth place offense in the entire league. That's what that's against offenses like Miami, who scored 70 points in a game this season. That's against the 49ers. That's against all those juggernauts. The Ravens were fourth, and we were third. We only dropped the fourth. Because, remember, Lamar and a lot of them sat the very last game of the season, right? So that um, they could be prepared for the playoffs. It hurts. And look, I know. Matter of fact, <laughs> yo, let me laugh real quick on this, right? Because I was watching um, Kicker. I don't know if y'all know uh, Kicker Stay Trippy. And he had a video of him with his arm around Mike McDonald saying he ain't going nowhere, right? And he's like, man, y'all need to chill. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and Mike McDonald, when he walked away, had that evil smirk on his face and said, oh. <laughs> Yo! So, yeah, that's done. <laughs> and I had to laugh because I was like, bro, these all coaches are professional liars. Professional politicians. Politicians, yo, these, these people politicking. <laughs> so I, listen, I was like, bruh, but that's that's what it is. The man deserves to be a head coach. He deserves to be a head coach, and he's already he was under um, Jim Harbaugh. He went to be under John Harbaugh. You know what I mean? With what the what he put on tape, on film. As a coach, what did you think was going to happen? What did you think was going to happen? Man had a triple crown. When have you ever remembered the Ravens leading the league in, in sacks? Yes! 
best left guy. And mind you, we don't have no like elite pass rusher, like a singular guy that's like, oh my God, you're so amazing. You're so bambooshes. You're so bamboxes. Like nothing, nothing like that. You don't know TJ White on our team? No Miles Garrett? No what's his name off the Dallas Cowboys? We don't got no guy like that. We don't. None of the Bosa brothers. One of the guys that had eight sacks for the season or eight or nine or something like that literally came off his couch off the Pat McAfee show and was giving people numbers. It's big shoes. I'm going to be real with you. Whoever comes into the Ravens thing, it's such big shoes to fill because it's not like the, the – it's not just the what he put – on the field, it's the off the field stuff. The those 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 players loved him, like they respected him. They wanted to play for him, so that's why it's a big like ooh because it's like bruh. And you're gonna get compared to him. It's just like whoever comes in after Brady. You remember, everybody was like, uh, "Who's gonna be the next quarterback of the Patriots?" And everybody's like, "I don't want that job because it's such big shoes to fill." And you already know the saying about pressure. Pressure busts pipes. It busts pipes. These are the reasons why, you know what I'm saying, I wanted to keep him and stuff like that. But I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy for him. He did stuff the right way. He gets to, you know what I'm saying, get a raise, get his family in a better place. I will never hate on another man for uh, putting his family in a better predicament than what they are now or currently. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I, I can't hate another man, you know what I'm saying, for working his butt off, doing everything the right way, earning every step. No shortcuts taken. But this is why Raven fans got to understand we have a, a superstar at quarterback. And yes, this season did not end the way we wanted it to. You know what I'm saying? Make no mistake about it. We still got that superstar. And that superstar is an equalizer. When you're looking at these other quarterbacks of these teams, the amount of weapons, the amount of stuff that they have to have around them to even have similar success to a Lamar Jackson, then you'll start to be like, okay, calm down, pump the brakes. We're still in a good spot. Because guess what? We still got Kyle Hamilton. We still got Roquan Smith. We still got Lamar Jackson. We still got Zay Flowers. We still got Mark Andrews. We still got Isaiah Likely. We still got Marcus Williams. I just, like I said, man, I, I, I'm, I'm focused, and I, I, you, you come out with the frustration, like ah, oh, ah, oh, but then you, you start, you, you remember, like, but there's still eight, and everybody's saying it's just because I like Lamar. I want to remind you, every team that goes through fluctuations with a superstar quarterback is the same exact thing. When Peyton Manning was playing for the Colts and, um, you know, defensive, great defensive guys are leaving, coaches are leaving, you know what they said? You still got the sheriff. <laughs> Same thing with Brady. Randy Moss leave, Welker leaves, all these other people leave, defensive players leave, running backs leave, coaches leave. You still got Brady. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, how many receivers leave, 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 leave? Defenders, how many of them leave, 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 leave? But you still had Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> And this is no different. No different. If Lamar has proved anything, he has proved his worth. He has proved his stature, his stature amongst uh, the other quarterbacks within this league. Amongst his contemporaries. And this is why I'm saying to Raven fans, don't worry. I know it's hard. I know it's painful. I know your mind's sitting there. Bro, you know Raven fans right now in their home like, Oh. <laughs> Painful. <laughs> listen, I'm laughing at this because at this point, that's all you can do is laugh. I was looking, listen, Twitter was crazy. I was looking at Raven fans literally crying, like, why, why? <laughs> but that's what we're going through. But don't worry. Don't lose faith. We still got a long way to go. And the race is not for the swift, but the strong. And we're strong, baby. Battle test is a raven flock. Keep that head held up high. This is going to be a difficult, loud offseason because, you know, everybody that had to go like this 
when talking about the Ravens, talking about Lamar Jackson, talking about um the offense and defense and all these other stuff. They were quiet because the Ravens forced them to be quiet. But now because of their poor uh the Ravens poor showing in the AFC Championship game, they they they've allowed them to open back their mouths and they're not just opening them like that. No, no, no. Because they're ready to shout from the rooftops and, and criticize and critique or whatever else it is like that. You understand? But we still got a long way to go, so don't worry. Stay strong. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Or are you guys like, I'm jumping off the ship? <laughs> Yo, let me know what you think down in the comment section, all right? But as always, that's the episode of The Wonderkind Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh, but everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You know, love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the Wonderkin Show's Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content, goodness, winning for your consumption. Give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment and stuff like that, bottom of the screen, QR code, QR codes to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign. The Wonderkin Show, super easy. But well, once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Hmm. Yeah.